we will talk about five most common causes goiter and when we say goiter in everyday life we mean there is a lump in the neck and medically speaking when we say goiter we usually mean that there is enlarged thyroid gland and this enlarged thyroid gland is not caused by cancer if it's cancer we call it cancer but if it's enlargement of thyroid gland and there is no cancer we call it goiter and what is the signs and symptoms of goiter visible enlargement of thyroid gland is a most common sign of goiter sometimes person feels difficulty swallowing sometimes difficulty breathing if this thyroid enlargement is too much and hoarseness and altering voice also possible because a large thyroid gland can compress nerves which are responsible on voice production and cough also common because it can compress windpipe of our uh, respiratory system and it can irritate and cause cough chronic cough and change hormonal levels also important change uh, thyroid stimulating hormone thyroid hormones and we can have symptoms for example weight gain if there is low thyroid hormone level and we can have weight loss if there is uh, increased thyroid activity so it depends symptoms def depends thyroid hormones are low or high but are possible usually we have abnormal hormonal levels and what is the most common causes of goiter most common cause is iodine deficiency especially historically it was very common because iodine is important to produce thyroid hormones and when we have uh, iodine deficiency uh, our brain tries to stimulate our thyroid gland and when it stimulates more thyroid uh, thyroid gland enlarges uh, to uh, to get more blood uh, and get more iodine from this blood to synthesize hormones and the more deficiency we have the more stimulation of thyroid uh, gland we have and we have more enlargement and this enlargement stay um, stay consistent and permanent if we have severe uh, severe iodine deficiency so iodine deficiency is huge problem that's why in many countries salt is always enriched with iodine and people get supplementation of iodine via enriched salt and it's very common practice in most countries nowadays but still we have some countries where there is no iodine supplementation and in such countries there is iodine deficiency and iodine deficiency uh, goiter and what are the symptoms symptoms are fatigue person feel fatigue and weakness and weight gain because of slower metabolism because thyroid hormone are important for metabolism and when there's low thyroid hormone it means that metabolism is slow and weight gain is common uh, sensitivity to cold this person has cold intolerance cannot uh, cannot tolerate uh, coldness uh, and some people have depression also so weight gain depression weakness is common characteristic of iodine deficiency second most common cause of uh, goiter is Hashimoto's thyroiditis what means Hashimoto's thyroiditis it is uh, autoimmune disease which means that our body's immune system mistakenly attack thyroid gland and they cause inflammation and they destroy thyroid cells it means that less hormones are produ produced and our body tries to compensate it and uh, thyroid thyroid gland is enlarged to produce more hormones but our immune system attacks them also and we have deficiency of thyroid de thyroid hormones but we have enlarged thyroid gland symptoms also there is similar symptoms like fatigue increased sensitivity to cold puffy face and unexplained weight gain and hoarseness of voice and constipation is common characteristics when there is low thyroid hormones and uh, it means slower metabolism it's slow metabolism it increases risk of 
heart disease, increases risk of high cholesterol, increased risk of diabetes. That's why Hashimoto's thyroiditis is important and requires treatment. In laboratory analysis, we have TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone increases because our brain tries to stimulate and stimulate uh, our thyroid gland because it functions uh, functions very weakly and our brain tries to stimulate it. That's why we have TSH level high, we have tyroxine level F FT4 and FT3 levels low, so thyroid hormones are low and TSH is high and also thyroid peroxidase antibodies is high. That's a, a laboratory findings when person has Hashimoto's thyroiditis and thyroid gland is enlarged. And treatment is levothyroxine, it's important treatment. Levothyroxine is synthesized thyroid hormone and person can get it whole time. Whole life and third most common cause of goita is graves disease graves disease is also autoimmune disease but it has opposite effect when Hashimoto's disease destroys uh, thyroid gland graves disease stimulates thyroid uh, thyroid gland because uh, our body at this case uh, produced antibodies which looks like TSH it looks like thyroid stimulating hormone and um, our thyroid gland is stimulated and it releases more and more thyroid hormones and we have faster metabolism at this case in person uh, person uh, looks like anxiety irritable and person has tremor shaking his uh, or her uh, hands and fingers and uh, such person has heat sensitivity uh, unable and unable to tolerate heat and such person always says that it's hot outside always even there is winter and increased sweating also common weight loss also common irregular menstrual period also common and bulging eyes and bulging eyes means graves graves ophthalmopathy is characteristic also uh, graves disease and treatment at this case is antithyroid medications and radioactive iodine therapy also to destroy some part of thyroid tissue and surgery is also solution at this case and in laboratory we have low uh, th thyroid stimulating hormone uh, because we have lots of thyroid hormone and our body tries to uh, stimulate less uh, uh, our thyroid gland and we have high thyroid uh, hormone low TSH and high thyroxine that's a uh, picture laboratory picture of Graves disease and fourth most common cause of goiter is thyroid nodules thyroid nodules can be malignant they can be cancer around 15% of nodules especially when there is solitary nodule it can be cancer but majority of them 85 percent is benign and in men is in men there is um, nodule there is higher risk that it can be cancer in women it can be benign in most cases uh, and for example graves disease is more common among women uh, before the age 40. Uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is more common among women after age of 40 uh, usually and iodine deficiency is common both men and uh, women also and thyroid nodules is more uh, important in men because there is higher chance of cancer 85 percent cases of thyroid nodules are um, benign and it does not need any important treatment just observation is, is enough uh, but some cases it can be malignant if there's malignant it requires surgery requires iodine uh, radio iodine therapy in most cases um, and it requires close monitoring or of course whole life and uh, how large should be these uh, nodules to be visible usually if we want to uh, if we want to notice it uh, naked eyes when person comes it should be uh, l quite large 
it should be more than four centimeters for example or three or four centimeters if we want to see symptoms because of these nodules also they should be larger more than three centimeters also for difficulty swallowing more than four centimeters uh, if if a uh, person can have uh, difficulty breathing for example and around three centimeters or more should be if there is symptom of hoarseness so thyroid nodules requires to be large enough to cause symptoms and a fifth most common cause of goiter is pregnancy uh, pregnancy is important because during pregnancy we have high uh, human chorionic gonadotropin hormone and this hormone looks like TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone so um, HCG or human chorio uh, chorionic gonadotropin uh, gonadotropic hormone looks like uh, resembles TSH that's why it can stimulate thyroid gland and enlarge thyroid gland uh, and in many cases thyroid hormones are normal but there's temporary enlargement of thyroid gland it's normal in many cases during pregnancy but usually it's not visible it can be enlarged slightly but not visible in many cases that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now